how to make music play automatically on Google Sites. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make music play automatically on Google Sites. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And now to start, just open your browser and can go to site.google.com in which it's a website creation tool provided by Google in which it allows users to create and publish websites without needing to know how to code. And Google Sites provides a simple and drag and drop interface where users can add text, images, videos, and other elements to create web pages. And if you want to start creating a website from scratch, you can do that by simply clicking this block site. Or alternatively, you could also navigate some of the template it offers. Below here, we have here some of the template it offers such as for personal, work, small businesses, events, and many more. So let's in those options, I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to click on it. And after that, you will be directed on this page right here. Wherein you can now start customizing all of the elements, including the context of this template, by simply highlighting all of this context and just enter the context that you prefer. So for instance, I'm going to enter here, it's part of time. And aside from that, you could also navigate some other elements including pages, themes, text box, images, drive, and many more. Using the editing tools that you can find on the right side panel. And now to proceed adding music play, we're going to use this platform called helpsite.com in which it provides a variety of widgets and tools for enhancing websites. And these widgets are designed to add functionality and interactivity to websites with ease. Without requiring any coding knowledge, it offers social media feed widgets, hot talk forum widgets, photo and video gallery widgets, and many more, in which some of those widgets can be easily added to the website built-in various platforms such as when WordPress, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, and many more making Help Site a versatile tool for website owners looking to enhance their online presence. And now to proceed, just click this widgets option on the top panel of it. Then below, you will be able to see here some of the widgets offered by this Help Site. We have here widgets for e-commerce, audio, video, and many more. And just proceed by clicking this audio player under this audio, since we're trying to make music play that will be added in our Google Sites. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page right here, in which this audio player widget on help site serves the purpose of allowing website owners to easily embed an audio player onto their website. And this widget enables website's visitor to listen to audio content directly on the site, without needing to navigate to an external platform or player. So basically, some of the purpose of it is for music promotion, podcasts, lectures, and speeches, and many more. And now, to start navigating or adding our audio player, just go back to this page right here, in which the next thing that we need to do is to simply select a template to start with in our audio player. And as you can see on the left side panel, it will show you the music playlist inline audio player. While on the right side panel, it will show you the preview of what it looks like for the customer or viewers. So we can simply choose here inline audio player like this one, in which if you try to click on here, you will be able to see on the right side panel how it looks like. You could also choose here the single track that will look like this, or even new album if you want to. And as you can see, each template contains different layout and design of their audio player. So let's say in those options, I'm going to choose this meditation and ambience template. And by clicking on it, it will show you how it looks like on the right side panel. And after that, just proceed by clicking continue with this template button below. Then you will be able to see here on the left side panel, some of the list of tracks that are included on this audio player. By clicking the three dots, you could also edit, duplicate, or even delete the track. And if you also want to add track, just click this add track button right here, and you can start uploading your audio track from your files. And also, if you try to click to any of this track, you will be able to see here that you can start navigating or customize to change the album cover, the title of it, and many more. And you can even add buttons in here. And by clicking this add track, it will show you this one in which you can simply browse files from your computer files. But there's a maximum upload file size of 100 MB. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate here the layout by simply clicking on it. You can choose either embed or floating. In which by choosing floating, it will show you how it looks like on the right side panel. While embed, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to enter or select here as an embed. And under this player, you could also customize some of the player controls if you want to check or turn on the loop, shuffle, progress bar, and many more. And aside from that, you could also add here or remove the image, title, artist, and other info in your audio player design. And below here, you could also shuffle by default, 
choose the volume default, repeat by default and many more. But just click or turn on this autoplay in order for the music to automatically play on Google Sites. And aside from that, you could also click here, this playlist button, by simply clicking on it, you will be able to be directed on this page, in which you can customize your playlist in terms of its image, artist, duration. Now going back in here, you could also navigate here the messages, in which you could also customize all of this message. Now under this style, by simply clicking on it, from here we could also choose or customize the display in terms of color scheme to change the accent color, giving all of these color palettes choices. But you could also choose to make it dark, custom, but I'm going to choose dark. And also below here, you could also navigate here the custom CSS and custom JS. And now after filling out all of the record information and customizing the design, just proceed by clicking add the website for free button below. And after that, all you need to do is wait for it to be saved. Then the next thing that you need to do is to simply sign in or sign up using your Google account, Facebook, or even your email address. But in those options, I'm going to choose to continue using my Google account. So kind of click on it. And after that, just choose your account details. And upon signing in, you will be directed on this page right here. And to publish, just click this publish button on the top right corner. And after publishing, under this plan that offer by this platform, we have here free plan, basic plan, pro plan, and premium plan. And below here, it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. But in those options, I'm going to choose this free plan. So kind of click select button below here. And after that, all you need to do is to wait for it to load. But you could also get or purchase some of the plans such as basic, pro, and premium plan if you prefer. Then you will be directed on this page. And on this pop-up window, it will show you the embed code in here that contain our audio player that we just customized earlier. Or you could also share this link by share link or even request installation by filling out all of the required information below here. And now to proceed, just simply copy all of this code by clicking copy code button right here. And after copying the code, just go back to your Google Sites and on the right side panel under insert, just proceed by clicking this embed. And in this pop-up window, just choose embed code. Then simply paste the code in here then proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, you will now see here the embed code of audio player that we just customized earlier. And by clicking insert button below here, it will show you that the audio player has now been added in our website and it is automatically played. So that means when a viewer is trying to visit our website, they will automatically hear the music that has been played, including the other track list. So basically, adding an audio player that automatically plays when visitors land on a website can serve various purposes, including to grab visitor attentions for critical announcements, or even to create a particular ambience or atmosphere. And now to save the changes, just click the publish button on the top right corner. And from here, you could also enter your web address that you prefer, then proceed by publishing this website. But that is just how you can make music play automatically on Google Sites. Thank you.